think the most embarrassing thing is when you go out and you have some heels and you looking cute and your outfit cute and then you tiptoeing around because people be like yeah sis feet hurt sis feet hurt oh, yeah. my pretties it's your girl Kagan welcome back to my channel if you're new here and it's your first time clicking on one of my videos my name is Kagan Cash on my channel I do a beauty hair lifestyle and fashion so if you enjoy that type of content make sure you subscribe to your girl's channel turn that bell notification on so you're notified every time I post a video and also give your girl a big thumbs up so today I'm coming at you with a video and this video is gonna be featuring shoes that I bought this summer featuring Shein now it's September, we're coming into fall, so I was like, oh my gosh, I have to do this video. I want to share with y'all some of the cute little shoes I bought this summer. Now, I have always kind of been like your basic black, white shoe kind of girl. I've been trying to get into different styles. So I did purchase some new styles that I probably wouldn't wear. But since I am older now, I'm trying to elevate my wardrobe and be more grown up and leave childish ways behind me. Some of the shoes I did buy are a little bit out of my comfort zone but i have found outfits that i can wear with these so if you want to see the shoes i bought this summer please continue to watch all right so i don't have my phone on me so i really don't know the correct name for any of these shoes my child has my phone so i can record this video real quick he's like sitting right here so um everything will be linked in the description box down below so the first pair of shoes we're gonna start off with are these pointed toe clear shoes shoes in a size 39 and I believe that's a US seven and a half now these are so cute I purchased these shoes because if you shop at J Lux label most of their models always wear these shoes most of their models wear these shoes in all the pictures that J Lux label take that means that these shoes are very versatile so you can dress them up I've seen J Lux label style these shoes with sweatpants I've seen J Lux label style these shoes with jeans jean shorts these shoes are so cute though and they are actually comfortable i've walked around with these shoes already just to do a little shoe test because one thing i am not a fan of i'm not a fan of shoes that are not comfortable if they're not comfortable i won't wear them i might wear them for a picture but your girl's not gonna wear them out because if i'm going out my feet have to be comfortable i have to be comfortable when i'm out and about so these shoes are a must buy these shoes fit my feet like a glove like i love this purchase i actually purchased these maybe like a month ago guys so the next pair of shoes i have are these nude color heels right here these are in a size 38 and they fit me actually really good these are comfortable as well i honestly feel like i could have got a smaller size than these um, but my my feet don't are not sliding and all they are really comfortable I like how the toe part is not too tight um, on my feet I hate when I get heels and it hurts on your toes and you know like when your toes hurt that's when you start getting corns on your feet so make sure you buy shoes that are comfortable especially when it comes right here now this does wrap around your ankle like so and I love the way that you can wrap it like this or you can just strap it down. And the heel of these have like a square heel. This is the first pair of shoes I believe that I have, that I've ever had that have a little square heel. And they're comfortable, you don't feel off balance when you wear them. So I really wanted some gold heels. So I purchased these gold heels right here. They are pointed toe. I got these in a size 39 and they strap around the ankle and my yin yang twin boys <laughs> these are strapped around the ankle as well um i will tell y'all these are not comfortable i'm gonna be quite honest these shoes are not comfortable my feet slide to the front and when they do slide um i feel like my little pinky is hanging off because it is a square toe ain't this this called square toe no pointed toe because these are a pointed toe i don't know what i i don't know what i just said um 
they're so cute but they hurt like they're not comfortable whatsoever I, I will probably use these just to take like a picture or something but I really highly doubt I would wear these shoes out um because like I said I do not want to feel uncomfortable when I'm out and I think the most embarrassing thing is when you go out and you have some heels and you looking cute and your outfit cute and then you tiptoeing around because people be like, yeah, sis feet hurt, sis feet hurt. Or I hate when people feet hang off their heels. Like that's not cute. Like your feet talking to the cement or talking to the floor, that's not cute. So, I mean, y'all can, you know y'all can purchase shoes if you want to they are very cute but they hurt me so bad so i don't know if these are gonna make it out into the world out into the public but they will make it in one of my instagram pictures or something. so you know i mentioned at the in the beginning that i have been trying to venture off into new shoes that i normally wouldn't wear now these right here are way different for my style but like i said i'm trying to upgrade my life i'm trying to upgrade my style i'm trying to be on my grown grown so these shoes right here i know they look a little crazy um i got them in a size 39 they're short but these are so cute to me. I saw a um, outfit on Pinterest. Pinterest is where I get a lot of my fashion inspo outfits from. Um, so I saw these on Pinterest and I saw somebody rock these with a pair of jeans. And it was just so cute. Like it was with distressed jeans. I don't remember off the top of my head what kind of shirt they had on but these shoes are in i'm pretty sure these might be a dupe for a um designer pair of heels i'm really not sure but i did see a little baby um, first baby mama golden she wore these the other day and she had like this really nice dress on and they look so cute if i can figure out how to post the picture up here i will post the picture of how she wore these shoes but they're so cute and i cannot wait to figure out what type of outfit i'm gonna wear with these guys they are very comfortable of course because they're short and they do not fog up your feet i always do a little shoe test i walk around my house to see what the shoes feel like and they were so comfortable so i cannot wait to rock them So I feel like you can never have too many nude heels. Uh, there's no way you can because each and every one is different in some way, shape, or form. These are some strap around the ankles too. Um, I, I really like the lace up type of heels. They can really elevate any outfit you're wearing. You can wear them with jeans, you can wear them with shorts. You can elevate any outfit with some lace up heels. These laces are very long and these shoes are velvet. So they're really soft and velvet. These are so soft. I'm actually gonna go back and get a couple more colors in these. They do have it in a red and I just felt like the red would be good for like Christmas or Valentine's Day. We have a pointed toe. These are not uncomfortable either. I honestly could have got a smaller size. I did get these in a 39 because I did not know how they fit. But these are so comfortable and the heel's not too big. So your girl will definitely be purchasing these in multiple colors. So the next pair of shoes I did purchase from Shein are a crazy color. <laughs> I want to say crazy, they're neon green. Now these I bought for a specific outfit. I haven't even wore the outfit yet. I believe I got these shoes on sale. I think they were like $10. They are more of that plastic material. Around the toes, they are not tight, which I did like. I did do the shoe test on these. I got these in a size 38 and it fits me perfect. This um, heel is another square heel and I'm really liking that style of square heel. I wanna get some shoes that have a bigger square on the bottom, I've seen those. Those probably be my next purchase. They do not tie the sh straps or wrap the straps too tight around your ankle because i think i did it and I, I felt like i was gonna cut off my circulation and i was like girl we got to loosen these babies up but yeah these i i do like these you can dress these up in different ways so i'm really excited about styling these little babies these were down to the last style pair of shoes whatever you want to call it so these are luxury dupes 
for Bottega or Bodega, however you say it. I'm just now getting into luxury. Um, actually, luxury designer stuff. Um, of course, I don't have the money right now, but we're going to speak it into existence that one day I will be able to afford a pair of expensive luxury shoes and not feel bad for spending the money. Over here, we love black girl luxury. But these shoes are very popular. A lot of people wear them. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, these hurt. I hope the designer ones, I wanna say they maybe be like $1,500. No, maybe it was like a thousand. I put it down. I put it on the screen how much the real ones are. But I hope they don't hurt like these bad boys hurt, okay? So you've seen me wear these in some of my Instagram pictures. These are the sandals right here. Now I'm gonna tell y'all one thing. I got these in black and white. This pair, the straps that go around your ankle, they were defected so i cut them off they were defected i don't know like what happened but they were defected they were backwards it's i'm pretty sure the clasp is supposed to be on the outside when i think it heals i'm like okay yeah the clasp go on the outside but i tried to switch them it didn't work so i actually just cut them off now i will say when i did cut the straps off the shoes weren't that bad as far as um being uncomfortable it wasn't that bad maybe it was the strap that was hurting i don't know but i wore these out when i went back home me and my husband went out with my homegirl, Sharnice. Hey, Sharnice. Hey, boo. These babies hurt. Like, I had to sit down in that little section all night because your girl was tiptoeing. And I was not trying to let people know that my feet were hurting. So, yeah, these things, they are not comfortable. They're cute, but they're not comfortable. So, if you are going to wear these, wear them for a picture. Wear them if you're, like, going to brunch. Wear them if you're going to go to a sit-down place. I also bought these shoes in black and I got a seven and a half in both of these. I kept the straps on. When I do purchase the luxury pair of these bad boys, I do want to go into the store and try them on and walk around and see what they feel like first before I decide to spend my coin. All right, my pretty. So I know this was like a quick little video. I just wanted to get this shoe haul out before fall actually hit. So I hope y'all can get some shoe inspo for next year. Don't let nobody say you can't purchase no summer shoes in the winter because yeah. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for subscribing to your girl's channel. I really do appreciate all of you, all of the 200 and I want to say 54 <laughs> that I have. I really do appreciate y'all. Um, I know building a youtube channel does take time and i'm willing to put in the time so yeah i hope everybody has a beautiful day today is thursday so we're coming into the weekend i hope y'all are safe this weekend remember that everybody is pretty no matter what size shape or color and of course you already know i will see you guys in my next video